Sunday, July 8th, 2018. I was standing on the rooftop of Mashiro Garden Tower. The city nights were hot and humid during the start of summer. A damp wind blowing under the moon. stood, just wishing for the world to end. Haruto Higurashi, male, 25 years old. This is you, now. Graduated from Keio University, employed at a publishing house. Yes, you're in a meet. Oh, that's right. We don't have much time. Let's begin then. Illuminate a brighter future for humanity. Right. You're gonna dry up like a prune if you fall asleep out here. Still really bright. So hot. Morning. What's your name? Uh, Haruto Higurashi. <laughs> we meet at last, Haruto. Is this place? Did you guys hear? 
Peace. What? Damn it. How's that? All right. The blue sky and the blue sea. Buildings submerged in the water. And streetlights that no longer turn on. In this perfectly clear, apocalyptic world. My weekend has come to an end.
Let's take this. What's this? Is this it? What's this? Satches. Real. Are you good? No. Yeah. you'd be like. All right. Why don't you start by telling us your name, age, and profession? Ah, oh, my. It's like you're taking him in for question. Let's welcome him with words of love. Flores, huh? Hope you taste better than you can see. Um, I really don't think we should be eating him. Um, Haro Higurashi, was it? Welcome to Garage Island. And my condolences.
I'm sorry. Answer me, please. Now, now. Well. Huh? Yeah! Hey! See? Whoa! Is this it? Congratulations on clearing the mission, everyone! We left some food for you as a reward, so be sure to share with each other. Look, Show! Our friends are all together at last! Yay! This is awesome, Mirai! Our fight is just beginning! You're right, but you make it sound like we're getting cancelled already. Boy, I'm getting nervous. I don't know if I'd make a very good assistant. He's really digging in there. I think you're a bit too lax. Now it's time for your next mission. Let's make a toilet. Okay, go! Hold on! You're going way too fast. Let's make a... I didn't mean the way you talk. We need to introduce ourselves first. What? Again? How many times are we going to do this? We haven't introduced ourselves to Haruto yet. We need to do these things properly. The rest of you already know our names, right? I'm Mirai, the herbivore mascot and host of Extend TV. I am the, the, the uh, uh, assistant, Sho Terashima. Why did you start getting nervous all of a sudden? Oh, this is bad, Mirai. I'm about to pee my pants. I'm quick on the trigger, so... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm wearing undies. I think that just makes it worse. Ahem. Let's get back on track. The objective of Extend TV is to act as guides for all you last remaining survivors of humanity. We're here to make sure you all survive on this Earth that's now been reduced to ruins. The last survivors of humanity? You see, humanity is now extinct. All except for you guys left on Garage Island. What? No way! You're joking, right? Please tell me you're joking! Yeah. I've explained this to you a bunch of times, Shell. I'm really surprised you're surprised. Huh? But how are we supposed to guide them? We only exist within this TV show and live in a completely different world than they do. Oh, so you're aware of that somehow. Um... We guide them by assigning them missions to clear. 
Even with our guidance, there's no way ordinary people can survive in the harsh world out there. Why do you seem so frustrated? Don't worry, they all have a special power. It's a gift from God himself. The X key on their belly buttons. X key? What's that? Is it like X Factor? We'll explain more about the X keys later. For now, you'll need to build your base of operations. Now's the time for you to announce their mission, show. Leave this to your trusty assistant. Here's the next mission. Become a Pop Idol! What is this, X Factor? You said it right the first time. We're going to have you all build a basic toilet. Without a toilet, something terrible could happen. Just like what happened to Show. <laughs> Flatter me all you want, but I don't have another drop left in me. Actually, I meant that yours is a bad example. I don't want to hear any toilet etiquette from you, Mirai. You poop wherever you walk, don't you? Hey, I use the toilet too. I even use the bidet afterward. Hmm, no wonder your butt is so clean. Ugh, don't look at my butt. Okay, that's enough. Time to say goodbye. Remember, kids? Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye-bye. <laughs> What about this? No. Um. You got it? This isn't a gesture of submission, you know. Just want to avoid unneeded suspicion. Yeah, we all doubted it until we saw for ourselves, too. Th this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> While you're at it, feel free to gaze upon my chiseled abs. Hmm, I might have lost some weight. As you can see, we all got one of these.
yeah. Luscious locks. Is that...? Huh. 
I'm Ryo Mikajime, an up-and-coming artistic virtuoso. Bondage artist. Huh? Yeah. Right. No. Sheesh. Um. Thanks. Huh? Yeah. Ah! Ow! Found it! Is this it?
found it. Is this it? Whoa! What's this? Destination is... Haruto. No. No. Well... Hey now. That's love. Huh? Excuse me. My name's Mamoru Ichio, believe it or not. 
not, I'm actually a doctor. <laughs> Don't tell me. Well... Excuse me. <laughs> Yuma. Yeah. Thanks. Well then. Ah. 
Ow. That's... Um... Oh, my name is Rinko Suzukino. I work at my family's flower shop. Tell me.
Is this it? Found it. Let's check the map. Where are we? The destination is... Excuse me. All right, I get it. Cover yourself up already. <laughs> no! It's Sachika. What? Haruto. Oh? Um, 
yeah. All right. It's like this. Well then. <laughs> Sachka. Let's check the map. Hmm. What? What? See? Oh my! Yeah. Eh? Let's go. Huh? I'm Zen Kubota, a farmer from a countryside deep in the mountains. Nice to meet you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Minamo Satouchi. 25-year-old Ryzen police sergeant. Leave it to me. Well then. I'll hold it.
Let's take this. Watch out. Excuse me. No. All right. What? <laughs> you like me? You're annoying. Maybe this will come in handy. I'll hold it.
Yeah! Love it! Excuse me.
Yes. In that case... It's mine. It, yeah. Yuma! What is it? What's this? Survival stuff isn't as hard as it seems. But don't let your guard down. The humanity restoration mission is just beginning. Gulp. So it's finally starting. Once upon a time, over seven billion people lived on this Earth. But now, the human population is down to eight. You guys are the only ones left in the world. This grand plan to revive the dying human race is known as the Humanity Restoration Mission. <laughs> Oopsie. I got all worked up, but I don't actually know what you're talking about. That's what I thought. Let me explain. Do you know what a human clone is, Sho? Of course I know what a loan is. My dad is knee-deep in them. That jerk always gets drunk and beats me. And every night he'd get violent with my mom and... Oh, I see. Well, that got real dark real fast. Put simply, human clones are exact copies of people. So, if there was a clone of me, he'd look exactly like me? That's right. Well, you're actually a clone yourself, Sho. <laughs> That's hilarious! And I'm actually a sheep clone. You couldn't tell, could ya? Wait just a minute. Then where's the original me? Your original body died on the Day of Reckoning. But your mind is still on your belly. My belly? Y you mean... Yeah. That X key on your belly button is where your mind is stored. Oh, that. Huh? What did you think I was talking about? Anyway, as long as you have the X key, you can be revived again in a new body. Wow, this X-key thingy sounds pretty amazing. Wait, so that must mean everyone watching this program is a clone too? That's right. And the humanity restoration mission can only be carried out by our clone friends. But you know, I'm still having a hard time believing everyone is a human clone. Mm-hmm, that's something you'll have to see for yourself. So, here's the next mission. Whoa! So we really are gonna make a clone? Yes. But there's something that needs to be done first. There is? What could that be? Well... Come on, just tell me already! 
You see, to make a clone, you need the X key on their belly, but it won't come off unless they die. In fact, they'll die if you take it off. So in order to make a human clone... Oh! So someone needs to die then? That's it? Piece of cake! I'm sure everyone will understand. I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins after all. Oh, well that's a relief. Okay, we'll see you all later. Remember, kids... Illuminate! A brighter future! For humanity! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Excuse me. Hey! Mm-hmm. Like I said... You're probably right. That's true. Yes, that's true. Don't! See ya. Don't! I'm not letting anyone die on my watch. No way! Zen, that's enough! Quit fooling around! You're bleeding. Oh no! Sorry, sorry. Damn it. Well...
I am. Thanks for noticing. I'm sorry. That sucks, because now I just realized that I was talking for nothing. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? It's not like that. That's super unfortunate. I always do that somehow. I don't know how I ended up doing it. <laughs> this is the game I was telling you about, Zanky Zero. The one that was made by Chun, uh, Chun Spike Soft or Spike Chun Soft. I, I don't remember how it was. <laughs> I always get the thing confused. Right. Yeah. Ben? Uh, I laugh this up with my sign in my sign room and let a sigh of relief. There's nothing here to put uh, sleep on, but being alone at last sets my mind at ease. Woo wee! <laughs> Where are we here anyway? I stare at the cracked ceiling lens. I recall the words from Extend TV. Wow, this X key sounds pretty amazing! Wait, so does that mean everyone watching this program is a cologne too? That's right! And the humanity restoration mission can only be carried out by a clone friend. I touched a piece of metal embedded in my stomach. This piece of metal is my true identity. So is the me touching it right now just a copy? If that's true, if the original me is long gone, is it like my sin never happened? I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins, after all. What a load of crap. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm overwhelmed with drowsiness. Seems my body was longing for rest far more than I thought. Before I realize, my consciousness falls into a deep sleep. Wake up. Someone else is grouped up already. Get your ass up. You said get your ass up? I heard that. I slowly open my eyes. Cracked ceiling lights, tattered cloth. Still the same ceiling as yesterday's, unfortunately. Wake up, Haruto. You even there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm getting up. I mutter as I grope around for my glasses. But the incessant pounding on the door doesn't let me up. Hey, Earth to Haruto. You awake, man? Hold your horses, I'm coming out. Sheesh. Oh, guess you're a heavy sleeper, huh? Thought you might have died or something. Yeah! We're all gonna gather at the West Shore. See you there. Huh? At the shore? Why? Are we going to catch some fish? Nope. Nah, we don't have time for something like that. <clears throat> Minimo will find another island floating right next to this one. Alright. Time to go check the western shore. Am we going the right way? Where are we? Yeah. When I arrive at the shore, the familiar faces from <clears throat> last night have all gathered there already. Their gazes are fixed on the ocean ahead. Sure enough, I see an island that wasn't there yesterday. Island? No, that's more like ruins. Haruto. Oh, morning, Hardo. Sorry to wake you. I know you're probably tired. Good morning. 
What's that island doing here? I noticed it when I was taking a walk this morning. Never seen anything like it these past three days. Where did that thing even come from? This show's budget must be crazy high. Amazing! It's probably drifted here on its own. Such a big island, too. Interesting. An island just drifted on over to us, huh? Sounds like something right out of an old children's story. I wonder if it's a real island. Could it be some sort of prop prepared by the TV crew? It's hard to tell from here. But it does look about as big as the island we're standing on. Let's go check it out. Looks like there's a shallow path leading to the other island. So we can right, walk right over. Hey! Hey! Why are you calling the shots, huh? Right after that stunt you pulled yesterday? <clears throat> I thought I apologized for that already. If that's not enough, I'll apologize as many times as it takes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, officer. I was just a bit shaken by that last TV episode is all. Hmm. You sound insincere. Oh, I... Ah, <laughs> well, what's done is done. It's my fault for escalating things, too. But promise me, please don't even joke about anything like that again. It makes Sachi real sad. You wouldn't want that, right? Okay, I'll think about it. The hell? That's not a promise at all. Don't you realize how hurt Minimal got because of you? Now, now. Now, now. Let's let up on him a bit. My hand is mostly better now, so don't worry about me. Really? You were pretty bleeding pretty badly yesterday. Hey, okay. Yeah, look. It was all healed up come morning. Guess it wasn't as bad as it looked. <laughs> that or Dr. Mamoru patched it up real good. He must be a great doctor. No. All I did was clean the wound and wrap a cloth around it. Anyone could have done it, really. Have a point. That's why I'm surprised at how quickly you've healed. Perhaps that's the power of love. Youth! <clears throat> I don't think love has anything to do with it. Sheesh. Well, if you say so, Minamo. But we're definitely not going to that island. It just showed up right after that Extend TV episode. No good could come from this. Let's go! What? But I want to go! That big building looks like it'd be fun to explore. There might be useful there, tools there, too. Yeah. yeah, maybe there's a boat or something that can help us escape from this island. Please. It'd be great to, uh, great to find a first aid kit or medical supplies. Or high-proof liquor. Woo! I need more cards. We will need more, uh, we, bleh, blah, blah, blah. we will need food above all else since it's uncertain how long we'll be stuck there. See? There may be more animals roaming around, especially if that other island was put here up for the show. Uh, I think we should go. Someone, maybe the TV crew, could be on that island. For real? Wait, hold up. Are you guys for real? Do you remember what that mission said? This has to be like a, a trap or something. So, just think of it as going on an adventure. Being childless is your sole merit, after all. The hell? That's not true. Wait, that's not even a merit. You pissed me off, but I thought about what you said about the true intentions of our hosts. What are they planning? I've been thinking about the answer to that, too. Don't tell me. They want to kill us or have us kill each other. Could that be it? Yeah. Right. Just like in the movie. It's called a chess game. Death game. Death game. Not chess game. Damn it. Whoever made that stupid cartoon just wants to enjoy watching us die. That island's nothing but trouble. You think so too, right, Harada? It's such a good game. <clears throat> I love that. Uh, I love um, the Ace Attorney trilogy. I really like the new one that came out too. Um, the one where you're kind of like in a medieval setting. That one was extremely difficult though. Way, way harder than uh, the Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney um, games because those are pretty simple and like it was, uh, I don't know. It was really easy to pick up on clues on that, but with the newer one, I just found like it was. You kind of had to read, re like really read into what they were saying, especially during the courtroom talks, because that was extremely difficult for me. That island's nothing but trouble. You think so too, right, Harda? No.
Actually, I'd like to go as well. We don't know for sure if they're starting up a death game. For real? What? Are you an adventure freak with a death wish too? No, but we might be able to find hints about our mission. The whole human clone thing might be some sort of metaphor or riddle. I see. A hint. So you're looking to find out more information. You think like an editor, all right. Well, Rio, you gonna stay here by yourself? What? Uh, fine, I'll go. I'd rather not be left here all alone. <laughs> Adventure time! This is so exciting. I'm so happy. There's even a lot of firsts for me since I got here. <laughs> Good for you, Sachi. Okay then, everyone. Let's get moving. Adventure, huh? I didn't decide to go to that island because of some thirst for adventure, or because I'm an editor. The Great Ace Attorney, I believe, is what I was talking about. The Apollo Justice wasn't that uh, wasn't that new. I think it came out during the DS time. I think the more recent one was the Great One. I liked how they had. Um, like a different type of... Well, I mean, they had like a parody version of Sherlock Holmes, which made the game a lot more entertaining. Because the silhouette of the building there looks way too familiar. The last place I was at before I got here? Mashiro Garden Tower. Party formation! You can create a party up to four members in party formation within the system menu. The party consists of both... Front and back rows. The direction of an enemy comes from determ <clears throat> direction an enemy attack comes from determines which character receives damage. Much of obtainable score will be lost when the party is wiped out. Avoid such deaths at all costs. Try having as many characters as possible in your party for a bigger advantage in battle. I guess. The destination is. The more attack, the better. Gotta have some good defense on the back end. And then... so hot, but the breeze feels so nice. Such a good the first one there, enjoying the breeze with their arms wide open. It's like a tropical beach. There weren't any cars or buildings buried in the sand. Tropical beach? You mean like Waiha and Angu? Yeah, yeah like Hawaii and Guam. Amazing. Oh, so these places are called beaches, huh? This is way nicer in person than in books. You never been to a beach before? Nope, I've always been stuck in a hospital. I've never gone outside like this before. Sasuke begins talking about herself absentmindedly. I haven't played the Dual Destinies one. Was there a lot of murder in that one, or was it just sadistic? That's why I decided against asking her about her hospital life. I see. So this is your first time. All right. At the beach, huh? That's great. Want to make some memories with us? Rio cuts in and finishes my line. Oh. Memories? Yeah. Let's go make some. Yeah. Then take off your sandals. You can't be running around here with those still on. Okay. My sandals? Okay. Sachika removes her right sandal and steps on the white sand with her bare feet. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't mind if you spoil it a little bit. I mean, as long as you don't give away too much of the plot. Hey. Wait, are you thinking of getting in the water? Nah. Nah, we don't have any bathing suits or floaties. The only memorable beach activity we can do now is things that couples do. Huh? huh? 
Ryu moves his sandals and carefully places them on the sand next to Sachiko's. He then whispers into her ear and begins to, or begins to run. <laughs> I'm over here! Sachiko immediately takes off after him. Would it be, uh... The prosecutor from the series? You talking about him? The, the prosecutor from the first game? <laughs> Wait for me, my honey! Aren't the revolves reversed? By all his complaining, Ryu seems to be enjoying the island. Or is it from the Apollo series? Seeing them run around like kids makes me feel ridiculous for being nervous about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Youth! They're so full of energy. We could learn a thing or two from them. <laughs> Kakashi sensei. <clears throat> Rio is pretty great. So friendly and warm. Like a cactus. Huh? A cactus? I'm not sure. In the language of flowers, a cactus can represent a warm heart or a shy girl. Fits them perfectly, right? Huh. Oh, I never knew that about cacti. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my goodness, that's cold. Oh, you've done it now. Yeah, shy girl sounds about right. Good. To be able to laugh together like that when they're the only just met is one of Rio's good points. That's what you call childlike, isn't it? Oh, well. By the way, Madams are already starting to curse the world. We should probably get moving. So hot. So hot. This is how I die. No. The sun should be the one that dies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just head to that building for now. Rio, Sachi, you can play later. We gotta go! We should get going too. I hope we find a hint for the mission. Yeah. yeah. Ardo? Yeah. Oh, nothing. Let's go. Minamo points at a building. It's the same one I wanted to investigate. I can already see the entirety of that building from my current position. My hands are sweaty. And I know it's not due to the summer heat, but the anxiety gnawing at me inside. Ugh. Oh! The one who has the superpowers? Seems I can't just force it open. Does she have red hair? Huh? There's something here. Faded license is here. Machio Sato. The truck owner, maybe? Oh, Athena Sykes! That's a name I haven't heard in a minute. I'll hold that. Nice. I'll hold that. Ooh, a raincoat. I think I should equip that. That clearing. Let's have a look, shall we? The old beach here, chair here. The parasol beside it is old too. Ooh. something here. Private road, no trespassing. Mashiro Garden Tower. Fuck that, I'm trespassing. Nice. What is this? Oh, empty shell casing. What are you doing? Whoa. Let's have a look, shall we? A notebook. Maybe it belonged to the liquor store's delivery person. 
I wish I could get like liquor delivered to where I'm at. I'll hold that. Ah. Oh, okay. I can switch who's controlling it. Gotcha. Nice. Yes, yes. What do we have here? Ooh. Let's take this. A vinyl umbrella. Is that a weapon? Yes, it is. Careful. That hurts. I'll hold it. Need all the stuff I can get. What do we have here? Is this it? Message in a bottle for some reason. Hmm. Let's take this. Picking up a lot of these branches. So far, it's empty. I'll hold it. Maybe this will come in handy. I'm waiting for a monster to pop out and eat my face. Owl, stop. Found it. Looks like a message in a bottle. It's just trash inside. Explore just a little bit longer. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's take this. I'll hold it. Okay, area fully explored. I think. We should mark it. Doesn't look like there's any more empty spaces, so I think we're good to go. Looks like it won't open. I thought it could have been one of those one sided doors. Well, there are goats around, and we got some coconuts. This island's not half bad. I didn't see any goats. Sheesh, you're just as happy as a clam, ain't you? Awesome. Sachiko's doing awesome, too. I want it. Give me your juices. What? You should invite into a coconut. You'll break your teeth. I'm detached from their happy conversations, unable to tear my eyes away from the building before me. <clears throat> the ten-story building barely seems to be maintaining its structure. The outer walls are worn and cracked. It looks like it was exposed to the elements for decades. There are no signs of human life, and the only noise I hear is the empty sound of wind. There's a set of automatic doors at the entrance, but the sensors no longer seem to be working. I knew it. I knew it. This place is... Where I committed suicide. Haruto! Did you find something, Haruto? Yeah. This is Mashiro Garden Tower. What? what? This is it. I was here. I was here before I woke up on Garage Island. It's changed so much, but there's no mistake what do you here. Think? Look at the sign above the front door. It's worn down, but it says Mashiro Garden Tower, doesn't it? It's a bit hard to read, but... Yeah. He's right. It does look like Mashiro Garden Tower. 
Minamo? I was actually a cop in Marshiro City and patrolled through the Metro Plaza under Mashiro Station a lot. Mashiro Garden Tower was the terminal building there. It looked just like this one. Yeah. I think I've seen it before too. I've been to Mashiro City a, couple, a few times before, so maybe that's why? But why is it here? Is this really just a set for some show? <laughs> so you, you think this is a real thing, do you? Damn it. I don't know, but you said it yourself. What if we were asleep for more than one night? If we were asleep for years and something happened to the world during that time, this would all add up. Come on now. What are you saying, Hardo? Don't tell me you think the world really ended. Oh, no. That's impossible. This just has to be some well-made imitation. Like how there were artificial flowers that looked just like real ones. Well, this is unexpected. Any input, madam? Yes. About what? I just want some juice or water right now. You know. This could be a genuine Mashiro building. Don't you know the difference between a real and a fake one? No. There's no way for me to tell. Mashiro owns buildings throughout the world. It's next to impossible to keep track of all of them. Oh well. That's not what I meant, but oh well. What do you think? Let's just go inside for now. There might even be someone in there. And it's probably much cooler in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The doors are closed, so maybe the AC's on the inside. Well then. Then let's break the glass and get inside. Like I You said. crushed my faint hopes already! Dr. Ichio kicks the glass doors but doesn't even put a crack in it. Ah, perhaps my kick didn't have enough love. Is it bulletproof glass? That thing is tough. No. We should give up. What? That was quick. Let's at least try for a little longer. If this place is for our mission, maybe there's a trick to opening it. In that case... Right, a gimmick of sort. Let's look around. There might be another way in. I looked everywhere! I'm gonna grab this bandage, though. We need this, right? Looks like it won't open. Well, well. There you have it. That ominous feeling. Let's take this. Maybe we could use this. I will pick it up. What's this? <clears throat> Mashiro Goat is the Mashiro Puzzle Sings Bass Guy. His pounder is Muck Is goat. this it? Ominous music does not make it any better. Whoa. Found it. It's a Reckless Skies video game guidebook. What's this? We activate the generator looking device at the entrance and step inside the building. Beyond the automatic doors is the lobby. It was once the reception area for office buildings. Sunlight is coming into the room through the crack windows, but the lobby is still pretty dim overall. What? There's no power in here? I was hoping for some AC. Even if the air conditioning worked, it'd be pointless with all these cracked windows. The generator and automatic doors must be powered separately. The lights and AC aren't working. But it's cooler in here with all the dim lighting. Isn't this nice, Yuma? Right. Yes, I burned too much fat just to get here. Why does she look so angry about that? Haruto. Haruto. Not what you mentioned earlier. Why were you at this building before you woke up here? I... Oh, because I used to work at Mashiro Publishing, which was here, inside Mashiro Garden Tower. Huh. huh. Mashiro Publishing. Real? Wait, really? You weren't at some tiny, small-time publishing house? Is that really how he saw me? Yeah, it was a bit hard to bring it, uh, it up with Yuma being here. I see. I see. From Harta's view point, uh, point of view, <clears throat> Yuma may as well be a literal princess of a country. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember you. <laughs> that almost sounds like you're threatening me. All right. Whether this place is a real deal or not, I guess we all may have passed each other before, huh? Let's see. It's possible. I use the Metro Plaza and Subway all the time. Oh. Subway? That's where the trains are, right? 
I want to go see them. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Let's check it out if there's a way to get down there. There didn't seem to be a subway looking from the outside. Excuse me. Excuse me. Rinko suddenly raises her voice. <clears throat> We're not sure if this was really Haruko's old workplace yet, right? So we can stop wasting time and move on. We need to find the TV crew. Rinko? Rinko? What happened? Someone must have prepared that mechanism for the front door. That means the world hasn't ended. The crew must be hiding somewhere inside. Rinko walks towards the automatic doors in the back. They seem to be rusted closed. The doors hardly move when she tries prying them open. She begins pounding on the doors. <laughs> Come on, I know this is just an elaborate TV set. Hey now. Hey now, Miss Rinko. Let's stay calm. We don't want to bring this building down on top of us. Maybe this building is a set for a show, as you say, but there's a real weight to the debris and rubble here. Now, now. We don't really think the world ended either, but we should still be careful, Rinko. What? Why are you so flustered? Huh? Why? How? Why wouldn't I be? Would you still be laughing if, if the world really ended? If our families, friends, loved ones were all gone, would you still act like nothing's wrong? I want to leave. I want to go home. I want to prove this is just a reality show. In this moment, I realize Rinko is the only one of all of us who's been facing the harsh reality since the beginning. We've subconsciously averted our eyes, but she alone has faced it head on, on the verge of breaking. Sorry. I'm sorry. I should have said those things based on speculation alone. <laughs> we got all excited for, about getting more food, but you're right. We shouldn't forget we were kidnapped. I'm sorry. It's been a few days since we were brought to this island. We might have been letting our guard down now that we're starting to get used to things. Oh, no. Rinko, sorry. I should have had my act together. Don't cry. I'll help look for the TV crew, too. Please don't cry, Rinko. Oh. Ah. Um. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come down on you all. We know. There's no need for you to apologize. I'm sure all of us want to put an end to this stupid reality show. Get back home, just like you. Haruto. But... I'm not in a hurry to go home, personally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care to, either. I'm a bit worried about my farm, though. Wish they would just uh, <clears throat> would have just outwardly agreed here, even if they felt feel otherwise. All right. I hope you open the door. I want to find out who's behind this game. Then it happens. Our eyes meet. In the space between the automatic doors, a giant eyeball stares directly at me. Rinko! Rinko! Right as I shout, Rinko's feet float off the ground. What? She lets out more of a whimper than a scream. I hear what sounds several, uh, like several twigs snapping at once as Chinko, uh, Rinko's chest bulges unnaturally. Huh? Huh? Red fluid fl uh, flows from the mouth as she lets out a groan. All I can do is watch. I'm not able to move a single finger. Finally, something bursts through her chest and it appears before me. The thing I uh, see as I'm covered in warm blood is a tentacle that looks like a band of white snakes. Uh, uh, as the tentacle draws from Wrinkle's body, she drops to the floor like a doll with its Rings cut. My immediate reaction is to put up my arms under her for support, but I can't find the strength. I slump to the floor with her on my arms. You've got to be kidding me! With her face so close to mine, I can clearly tell she is no longer breathing. Hey! Rinko! Haruto! How could this happen? You both. Sounds like Rio shouting behind me, judging by the sound of his voice. I'm in bad shape, too. The tentacle that impaled Rinko had pierced through my body as well. I can't breathe with all the blood in my throat. Rinko is covered in my blood and I'm covered in hers. What the? What the? Is it a crew member for the show? I don't think so. That's no crew member. Run! Rinko! Haruto! We need to help them! Someone please help them! It's too late to save them. We'll have to leave them here. Their voices seem to be getting farther and farther away. It's cold. So cold. What? This light I've seen. Rinko? 
Oh, God. Splash. This again? It's me, Sachka. Haruto Higarashi. She smiles happily after hearing me reply. <laughs> we meet again, Haruto. This was the beginning of the game that put humanity's fate on the line. These are our sins. Punishment. The reason we left in this world. There's a question still left unanswered. Spike tent off. And that, my friend, is the beginning of our adventure. You thought all that stuff before was the beginning? No, this is the beginning. Shit gets crazy from now on. <laughs> yep. Two hours of prologue. As you can see, I already beat the game on normal. <laughs> and I put 64 hours before actually finally beating it. But, well, no, I, I mean, I, I, I beat it before, but there's, like, there's end game content as well. Hey, I think I beat it within, like, 40 hours. striving to make a reality that dream can finally come true thanks to the invention of the extend machine this poor woman has been crushed beneath some falling debris but there on the deceased stomach is a product of human intellect and the origin of cloning the x key simply set it into the extend machine and with enough score points you can extend a young girl exits the machine. The older woman is now reborn as her younger self from bygone days. To be reborn is to be young again. A smash hit with women everywhere. A nation of longevity begins with cloning technology. For adults, children, even grandma. An extend machine for every household. An extend machine to serve your country. This is the miracle machine from God, known as the Extend Machine. The Extend Machine allows you to come back to life in a new body, even if you die. To come back in a child's body, right? How lame. Mature women are good in their own way. 
Some people just don't seem to understand. Oh, um, sorry? Anyway, I need you to show me the stuff before we start talking business. Sure, but can you do your job as an assistant once in a while? Ta-da! This is the Extend Machine! Whoa, is this really it? It almost looks just like a machine. It is a machine. Have you been listening at all? You can use the Extend Machine to create new clones and extend their lives. Now, why don't we try extending ourselves? Would you mind dying real quick, Show? Sounds kind of scary, but I am the assistant after all. Bring it on! <laughs> this game is so fucked, man. <laughs> First, I'll set Mirai's X key into the extend machine. But do I have enough score points? Okay, good. Then I'll activate the machine. And now I wait. Come back, Mirai. We were just getting started. Wow. Do you know my name? Show. My dim-witted assistant. <laughs> It's good to see you again, Mirai. I'd love to knock the teeth out of that sheepish smile of yours right now. So, as you can see, this is the power of the Extend Machine. Thanks to the X key, you can always pass on your memories and experiences to your new body. Like how I remember being killed by Sho just now. Wait, <clears throat> you haven't gotten any younger, even though the lady in the commercial turned into a little girl. Of course. I was always a cute little lamb in the first place. M Mirai! How could this happen? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? To be continued. I'm wrapped in a dusty towel after being freshly reborn, standing barefoot on the garage floor. My glasses are still wet after a rough wipe. I stare at the palm of my hands as I move them around. <laughs> yeah! Full, soft hands. Thin arms with no muscle definition. I'm even shorter than Sachika right now. Was I always this close to the ground? Physically, I'm the same as when I was in first grade or so. <laughs> You're so cute, Harda. You're even smaller than Sachika now. No way. No, no way. Is this really Harda? Maybe it's some other kid who wandered in. Uh... I guess my last joke last night turned out to be true after all. Yeah. What's, what's with this arcade machine? So then all that human clone talk was real? <laughs> Hello there, little boy. Your glasses are slipping down. They all take turns looking at me, commenting with interest, question, or fear. Now, now. Step back for a moment, everyone. I'd like to examine him for a, minute, a bit. Dr. Ichio kneels down. He looks into my eyes, then he uses a stethoscope, a, a stethoscope on my chest, back, and stomach. His movements are careful and deliberate as he examines each section of my body. I feel an odd sense of security as his big hands gently press against me. So how does he look, Doc? Right. Well, I can see he's a normal, healthy young boy. Disregarding the X key on his belly, that is. It's not like that. Not that. I'm asking if this kid is really hard to. I wonder. Even I can't answer that question. Without some way of conducting a DNA test, it's not possible to scientifically or medically identify him. Mm. Besides, we don't have any records of Harado's DNA in the first place. Damn it. Damn it. I can't believe this. Everyone, what happened? Huh? <laughs> I'm taken aback by the high pitch of my own voice. Is this what I sounded like before puberty? Everyone stays quiet, waiting for my next words. I take a deep breath and exhale. What happened to Rinko? We were both killed. Something impaled us through our chests. And... The hole in my chest is gone. But I can still feel the pain and warm blood from that moment. 
But I came back to life, right? Then is Wrinkle back too? <laughs> no, not yet. She's still in here. That's... Sachika holds out the object known as the X key. <clears throat> Don't know if you remember this, but after Rinka was stabbed, she melted into a pile of white sand. In that pile, we found her clothes, shoes, and all her other stuff, including the X key. She fucking melted. No. I remember, but just a little bit. Yeah. Your body also turned to white sand immediately after that. Your belongings and XP fell to the floor too. Huh? Me too? Maybe the monster was satisfied after killing you, seeing as it retreated to the back of the ruins. That's when we retrieved both your X keys and clothes and returned back to Garage Island. We left the rest of your belongings there though. There was a chance the monster was still around. Hmm. As soon as we returned, that extent TV show was on. That's when they told us how to revive someone, or rather, how to create human clones. Well? We were still a bit skeptical, but well, here you are. Now you know what happened, little boy. This is so... <laughs> and if you put it all together, it's triple X. PORN! This is also beyond normal, see, I feel almost attached like it's happening to someone else. Well, we know I was able to come back to life, so why don't we try for Rinko too? I know. Yeah. Oh, Harto, why don't you try extending Rinko? Mm -hmm. Extender. What do you think? They said extending is like using a one-up. Do you know how that? Do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, it's a gaming term, right? It means you get an extra life. But you don't really see life count systems being used in most modern games. Maybe in older shooting games found in arcades, if anything. You sure know a lot. Sachika just learned about it early. Yeah. This is Wrinkle's X key. Here you go, Hardo. Hey. Wait a minute. What am I supposed to do with this? Right. Use the extend machine behind you. That's where you came out of, remember? The extend machine. The giant arcade cabinet Rio and I talked about yesterday. There's one obvious difference since that, though. The arcade cabinet is powered on. The neon letters spelling extend are lit up like the lights on a bar. Alright, can you teach me how to use it? But first, I'd like to put on some clothes now. On, now. Is there a shirt I can wear? Harto, your ah, your showing. rival shocked me so much I forgot. <laughs> your wiener's showing, Harto. Harto's weenie! <laughs> ah, Harto's weenie! Uh, can you please stop saying that? Such an impertinent wiener. Such an impertinent wiener, I shall remember this. I've never heard a wiener being called impertinent before. No. Please don't. <laughs> I understand, Hardo. It's not even as big as my pinky, but it's okay. You're still only a child. Hey. I'm not hiding it because I'm worried about the size. C can I just get my clothes back now? See? We brought your clothes just in case, but look, we have something even better. Mm -hmm. A children's uniform? Did you find it in the ruins? It must be brand new since they're still in plastic bags. They even come with underwear and shoes. Well... We haven't told you this yet, but... There's a storage compartment under the X10 machine that we found a bunch of clothes in there. They also have name tags for us. How considerate. I'm sure they're tailored to our exact sizes, too. Our name tags? Yeah. Yep, Sachika's bag was in there, too. Isn't it cute? Sachika turns to show me the bag hanging from her shoulder. Then I realize her bag looks just like one of the X10 TV characters. This must mean that whoever made that cartoon show also prepared our clothes and other goods. It's a slightly disturbing thought, but beggars can't be choosers here. Thanks. I'll wear these then. Thanks. I put the clothes on, and then I'm taught how to use the extend machine. Even though I'm living proof myself, I still can't, uh, still can't quite believe it's real. But I would soon realize this ridiculous machine is our only hope. And this machine is the punishment given unto us. Extend Machine. Extend Machine allows you to extend and create new clones. The score necessary to extend can be obtained by defeating organisms. Clones can also earn numerous Shigabane depending on the causes of death. Activated Shigabane will grant resistance towards characters' various causes of death. 
to activate Shigabani, select Shigabani bonus while extending. Death will push you to newer heights. Try collecting as many Shigabani as possible. In other words, die as much as you can. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Dies an adult. Adults lifespan expanded extended one by one day. Yeah. Died from an enemy attack. Attack and defense slightly increased. Okay, so you can revive with Chikapani bonuses. A girl emerges from the extend machine. Her facial features resemble Rinko's. <laughs> Is this the garage? I thought we went to the other island. Rise and shine, Rinko! Are you hurting anywhere? Uh, good morning, Sachika. Sorry, did I fall asleep? <clears throat> Something's wrong with my voice. And why am I all wet? And naked? I'm naked? Wait, why am I tiny? Wh what's going on? Hey, Yuma, Sachi. Mind coming over here for a second? The girls of the group form a wall around Rinko lookalike, blocking her from our view. Besides. We're gonna get her dressed, so you boys look away. Here, Rinko, use this to dry off. Hey, now. Including me? But I'm a doctor. I need to give her a medical examination. Hey! Wait just a minute. I'm not giving her any weird looks either. Nah. Mentally, she's still 25 years old, so don't even think about it, or I'll arrest you for voyeurism. <clears throat> no one better than I about seeing me naked. However... But she's physically a child. As an aspiring pediatrician, I ex examined many children during training. I hear he loves children and enjoys putting his body through intense physical abuse. <laughs> what a herb. What a creep. He's the last person you should be around kids. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, it seems I died on my hill. I'll leave the rest to you. After being called a creep, the doctor turns away from us, then crouches down and hugs his knees. You know. He's like a, sulk a sulking bodybuilder or something. Whoa. That's not much of a metaphor. This boy is Hardo, and I'm a clone revived by the Extend Machine too. Rinko's expression fills with confusion and fear as she realizes what has happened. Other than the skirt, her clothes are basically the same as mine. The stitching on her pocket reads Ma uh, Mommy. Maybe it's a uniform uh, for some school? You got it? That seems to be the case. Hardo remembers, so I'm sure you do too. How you died, that is. How I... Uh, Rinko leans forward, covering her mouth with her hands, and begins dry heaving. She groans in pain as saliva drips and dangles from her mouth. Since she'd literally just been born, there's probably nothing in her stomach to throw up. Minima tenderly rubs Rinko's back as she writhes in agony with no way to find relief. Why, you? You always have one too many things to say, Zen. Look at her. She's just a little girl. No, no. But she's 25 on the inside. You even said so yourself. So, so, uh, 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 what they were saying on TV is all true? Our bodies are cloned and I'm this machine on my belly? So the world really is? Fucked. That distinct hum starts up again. The CRT powers on once more. And the screen displays that familiar grainy picture. 
Extend TV again. Don't tell me. It was just on earlier. I can't wait. Must be because we cleared the mission. I wonder what's next. Hmm. Now that you mention it, we did clear. Our mission was to create a clone. Little boy, I mean, Haruto Hargarashi, can you change the channel? What? Why me? That's right. You have a talent for it. And what kind of talent would that be? I grumbled the whole way over, but reached for the TV's channel dial anyway. Seems I retained my old disposition, knowing that gives me an odd sense of relief. What's this? Hey, kids! It's time for Extend TV! Now that you know how to use the Extend machine, what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? I'm surprised. I didn't know making clones was so easy. <laughs> just look how excited he is. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for clones, you know? Why are you talking about clones like they're your favorite food? But Mirai, what's the point of doing all this survival stuff when we have the Extend Machine? If someone dies, we could just make a new clone again. Sadly, the Extend Machine isn't without faults. When you extend, it spends the score points that are stored in the machine. But if you don't have enough, you won't be able to make any clones. So that's why you need to survive and keep collecting more score points. What? Really? So how do we get more score points? Just put on black spandex suits and kill some aliens? No aliens to kill. But you're right about score points. You earn them by defeating enemies. For example, feed a goat for some goat meat and you'll earn a few score points in the process. So you can't extend without score points, and you need to survive to earn them, huh? Sounds like there's no end to this humanity restoration mission. This isn't gonna be easy. No, it's not. And the extend machine isn't complete yet. Oh, it's not done. It's not? And that brings us to our next mission. Obtain the machine's pants! <laughs> the ruins drifting across Earth's ocean. Mashiro Garden Tower. Have you guys been there yet? You should be able to find parts for the extend machine there. This time, your mission is to go and get those machine parts. So if you put those pants on the machine... It'll give the extend machine a boost. It'll give the extend machine boobs? That's one of the crucial objectives of the Humanity Restoration Mission. Boy, I sure am lucky to be born on Earth. <laughs> Show looks so happy. It's almost like he's mistaking parts for pants. Okay, everyone. Good luck finding those machine parts. If you die, you can just extend again. What's there to be afraid of? Extend TV is rooting for you. Remember, kids. Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye-bye. What an awesome intro to the game. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's getting late, and I do need to go to bed and because I have to walk the dog. Actually, i got to walk her before we go to bed because she needs to poop and pee. Fun. Just giving you some information. Just, you know, thought you should know. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed the, the game. I know that I love this game. You should definitely try it out if you're interested because you will not regret it. Anyways, I'm out of here. I will see you tomorrow, 930, as always. Have fun. <laughs>